Alex Mooney had held that seat for uh, what a decade or so. Uh, via telephone, Senator Patricia Rucker, who won a uh, race with uh, John Doyle for the 16th. Patricia, good morning. Thank you for calling in today. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Patricia. Sounds like you're in route somewhere. Where are you headed? Of course. Sorry. I've been picking up my yard sign. So. <laughs> oh, Bill loves you then. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Patricia. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. It's always been a priority to try to get my yard signs up as soon and as, as fast as I can. Now, the big ones, they're going to take a little longer than the little ones, but get the little ones out of the way. Uh, Patricia, you you performed better than any other candidate who had Jefferson County in their district. You picked up 61% of the vote. What do you think was the key to getting such a large margin of victory when others who had Jefferson County in their district did not perform as well? So I, I, I don't know. I can't really say exactly. I will tell you that, of course, I worked very, very hard and door knocked um, like I always do. Um, I have door knocked in Jefferson County multiple years, so some of that cumulative effect might have helped. Plus the fact that, um, you know, I did get support from organizations like Americans for Prosperity, and I know that they really, I mean, I, I was just really shocked and pleased by how much they, they helped and supported and sent mailers and things like that. A lot of mailers, a lot of mailers, Senator. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And just so folks know, they are not allowed to work with me, coordinate with me. I did not know that was happening, and I was just as surprised as everyone else when they came in. So those things, I mean, clearly that was great um, to get that kind of support. Senator Rucker, will you seek to become the next Senate president as you sought to become previously? Um, probably not. Um, it is my intention to, to, you know, just do whatever I can to help the Senate succeed and in whatever role I can, you know, I can do that best. But I ran for Senate president at a specific time because I felt that you know, we, we needed we needed a certain kind of leadership. I'm willing to serve in that role, but it doesn't have to be me, and we will see what happens. The Senate has changed in this election. There's been some pickups all over the state, and, you know, as a body, I think we have a lot of talent, and we will see who, who ends up being the best person for the job. Senator, how many women are in the West Virginia Senate? Four. Okay. Right now. Senator, uh, what committees would you choose to be on, hope to be on? Well, so, as always, I, I hope to stay on judiciary. I, I, that's kind of like my committee I, I really love. Um, I would be happy to serve again in education, transportation, would like to continue being in health and human resources. Um, but, you know, really, there's a lot of committees that I have interest in. Agriculture, as you guys know, is something I'm very passionate about. Natural resources, workforce, um, and, and just whatever ways I can to try to get um, my constituents the best bills and the best support. Talk about judiciary now that Charlie Trump is moving to the Supreme Court. Who do you ha who do you see will be the new chair of judiciary? So that's actually one of the ones that I really I really don't know. Um, it's going to be very interesting if the next Senate president chooses to have judiciary run by lawyers. We have several lawyers that you know would make excellent choices, or if the next you know. Um, Senate President wants to consider someone outside of um, having a law degree. I think we have some members that have served in judiciary for many, many, many years um, that would also be able to do a good job running that committee. Um, I think what's important is that that committee remain the committee that looks over 
all the bills that have to do with the law, which is almost all of them, and that you do have that that kind of uh, safeguard for bills. There are many bills that make it through other committees and don't make it through judiciary, and there's a reason for that. Um, and I do think that it's really important we have someone who knows how to analyze a bill and see whether it makes sense in the larger scheme of the law in West Virginia. And they'd be consistent with the Constitution, both the West Virginia and the U.S. Constitution. I really have learned so much as being a member of that committee for eight years, and I enjoy it. It's hard work, but it's really important work. So would you want to be chair of that committee then, Senator? Oh, goodness. Well, I, I, I like I said, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever is best to help the Senate get its job done. Um, I, I'm, I'm not putting my <laughs> name into any particular hat. We will see what happens. Senator Rucker, thank you so much for your call this morning. Congratulations on your reelection. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Get those signs. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs>